Maggie will be nervous until after her sister goes. She will stand hopelessly in corners, homely and ashamed of the burnt scars down her arms and legs, eyeing her sister with a mixture of envy and awe. She thinks her sister has held life always in the palm of one hand. That no is a word the world never learned to say to her. Sometimes I dream a dream in which Dee and I are suddenly brought together on a TV program of this sort. I am ushered into a bright room filled with many people. There I meet a man like Johnny Carson who shakes my hand and tells me what a fine girl I have. Then we are on the stage and Dee is embracing me with tears in her eyes. My hair glistens in the hot bright lights. Johnny Carson has much to do to keep up with my quick and witty tongue. But that is a mistake. I know even before I wake up, who ever knew a Johnson with a quick tongue? Who can even imagine me looking a strange white man in the eye? It seems to me I have talked to them always one foot raised in flight, with my head fumed in whichever way is furthest from them. D, though, she would always look anyone in the eye. Hesitation was no part of her nature. Maggie, come on out. Oh, there they are. Glasses at Tiano, Papa. No, 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 don't get up. I'm going to take a picture. Oh, and what a shot this is. Do you try to give us a different expression this time, will you? There we go. Papa. <laughs> well, Dee. No, no, no. It's Wangero Liwaniga Kimanjo now. What happened to Dee? Well, she's dead. What do you mean? Well, I couldn't bear it any longer being named by the people who had oppressed me. You were named by your great Aunt Deesy. And who was she named after? After her mother. And she? After her own mother. That's all I can remember. Yeah, there you go. There I wasn't. You don't have to call me that if you don't want to. Yes, I do. What, what, what is it again? Wangero. Wangero. Well then, come on in. Join us. Have 
culture in them. They have history. Megan wouldn't know what to do with them. She'd put them down and they'd just turn to rags. Really? What would you do with them then? Well, I'd hang them up in the living room. It's okay. She can have them. I can remember Grandma without them.